Save your life here. Okay, I read online that brushes are some of the most dirtiest things. So we're gonna be testing it. So let's go. Let's get started. We have our goggles on and we have our brushes. And um, the brushes we're going to be using are not new, so that's pretty dirty. So I'm going to take it. Okay. Don't I got to wet the swab. Don't now. drown it in PBS. Don't drown it. Wet, wet it good now. Okay. We're going to get all in the bristles of the brush. Everywhere. That means it's going in our hair. In the plate. You Oops, it's so dirty. dirty. You just swabbed. Janaya. Hmm? You were about to kill all the bacteria or you just swabbed? I guess so. She wouldn't kill it. She would just contaminate the PBS. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I'm going to start doing mine. I think you got it, did a good job, Mom, Naya. That's okay that you broke it. We all do that. That's enough. That's enough, Naya. You got enough on there. Mm-hmm. Now throw the swab in the trash. And then put it in the incubator. I'm so excited. Okay, so. so Jasmine, let me ask you something. What's your hypothesis? What do you think is going to happen? Well, since I swabbed where you hold it, there's normally staff on your hands. I think there might be staff. And another one is it's really old, so I think there's going to be lots of bacteria. And I think because um, bacteria sometimes can make like little shelters called biofilms, there might be some on there. And I mm -hmm. think. Um, I also think there's going to be a lot of bacteria because the hair catches a whole bunch of bacteria that's in the and, hair. And um, when you brush the hair, there, there can be lots of germs in your hair because it's all around your body, so, so, it, can, so it may be dirty a lot. Okay, so we and will see. And has hair in it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we will see tomorrow what the results is, Ooh. okay. Okay, it's been a day, and um, we're gonna check the results, but we don't know what it's gonna be like. Our mom wants it to be a surprise, so let's check out the results. Okay, guys, look at your plates on the hairbrush. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, plate. The G brush. Ew. Mm, that's the one with the bristles. Let me see. What's that? Oh, wow. What's that at the bottom? That little what smear. At the bottom? You guys need to clean. No, what's that different. smear? That's the bacteria. No, it looks like a different type. Let me put these plates together. Soon, like we're gonna either have to change our brush more often or we're going to have to disinfect it. This is crazy. Oh wow. Okay. That went bad. It is very bad. That's yours. Well, I'm going to keep it out for another day to see what kind of stuff grow in it. Do you think it's gonna be way terrible tomorrow? Mm hmm. What do you think, Jasmine? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be very interesting to see. We're gonna throw those brushes out and buy new ones, right? Yes, I love the brush. Unless we're gonna clean it real good. All right, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Yeah, so 
I'm going to do a quick gram stain just to see what's on this. Um, my kids are not here, but I think you should know and you should see what is on this. This is, this is a lot. Just look at this. Wow. This one's even crazier. Mm. Just heat fixed, and now I'm going to gram stain. So I'm adding crystal violet. This is a differential stain. It differentiates amongst bacteria that have certain thick structures called a cell wall, and um, based on other structures, um, some organisms can be worse than others. So the first stain is crystal violet. Okay, so I just I just rinsed off the crystal violet, and now I'm adding what we call a mordant iodine that helps the stain stick. Okay. So um, then you leave that on for a certain period of time and then rinse off. Okay, so the next stage is decolorizing after rinsing. Rinse it off. Okay, so what I actually did um, was I rinsed off the decolorizing, which is an alcohol. The alcohol kind of removes the stain complex from a certain type of bacteria called the gram negative. The gram positive, however, if the procedure is done right, should still be purple. Um, but now I added a counter stain called saffronin, isn't it pretty? Um, and those that lost the purple color should take this color up. So we'll see what it looks like when we're done with this. And I'll explain what this all means. Okay, so now this one is from the wooden brush. Let me just flat dry some of the water. We're gonna look at it under the microscope. Okay, so I got it focused in the pink one. Mm. I'll show you what it looks like. It's long, it's kind of a long gram negative rods. See that? It could be a number of bacteria. That's the first colony. Let's look at the second one. Okay, so um, I the purple one I looked at, and this is actually very interesting. I'm gonna show you. They are circular, but they're arranged in fours. We call those tetrads. You see the tetrads? They're kind of in fours. All right, let's look through this lens. Tetrads. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they are gram positive. They're purple. All right, so I have the one from the second brush. That's the one I had. Um, it's that G brush that's on there. The other one is the bristly wooden looking brush. Just... Okay, so this one, remember it kind of looked purple, but it probably looked like that because it's very concentrated. It's actually pinkish in color and they look very uh, interesting. They're rods that have a curve to it. Let's look through this one here. Yeah. It could be a number of things, but very interesting. Okay, so this is the second colony. Let's take a look what it, it looks like. They are gram negative long rods. Yeah, there's a lot of gram negatives on here. Very interesting. Even though, you know, this staining procedure classifies organisms either as gram positive or gram negative. Gram positive would be purple, gram negative would be pink. Um, sometimes microbiologists can determine them by how they actually look on the slide, but to really identify them, we'll have to use certain metabolic or identifying biochemical tests and also molecular tests we can use. But in a future episode, um, we will actually look into identifying some of these. Very interesting results. Hmm. Okay.